Hi, welcome to Woolly Meadows Felting. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these holiday baubles. So our kit includes all the supplies that you need to make 6 or 12 of these, but if you're just joining in and you'd like to know how to make them, you'll need a few supplies. I like to use core wool, and this is just slightly cheaper wool. It can have more vegetation in it. It's just to go on the inside of your project, but carded felting wool works best. You'll also need your outside color, which I'm using burgundy, and then a few accent colors. And this is all carded Cordale, other than the gold, which is top. And each bauble weighs about 20 grams, um, so just shy of an ounce. You'll need for each one, just to make sure you have enough, and make them to the size that you see on the diagram in the kit, or by all means make them larger if you have a larger tree. You will also need a felting surface. You can use a wool one or a high density foam one. And you'll also want some felting needles. These are all purpose felting needles. 36 gauge work well. There's a coarse needle. And you don't need too many needles, but they're certainly nice to have lots of them around. The coarse one, of course, will felt quicker, and then the all-purpose one has barbs that are finer towards the end, and that means that if you poke more gently, the holes will be smaller, and therefore will act as a fine needle. We've outlined several different designs in our kits, but for this one, I will just show you a few extra ones. You're basically placing the colors on top after you've felted your bobble. And you just take your roving and just pull it out where you would like your design all the way around. If you like it to just end there, you just simply pull it off. You take your felting needle and you poke all the way along. And you catch those fibers with your felting needle. Make sure to poke in and out, not bending the needle. If you try and bend the needle, it will snap the tip off, so you want to keep it nice and straight. But you can gently catch the fibers and just drag them in. Which creates a better contrast between the color and the bauble itself. The neater you can be with this wool, the more contrast you'll get with your design. So for this design, I'm actually just going to show you how to do the bands, but that's just an optional one that you can do. So I will just remove that. Later on in this video, I will show you how to make the actual bobble, how to make it round, um, how to thread it up. But I'm just giving you a nice overview so that you can see what they look like and some of the designs that you'll come across. So again, you're just taking your felting wool, you can anchor the end part in, and then depending on how thick you'd like your line to be, pull it out to make a nice thin line or keep it fatter if you'd like more. And just keep holding it. It's okay if it moves around a little bit. Just gives you a starting place. And then you'll need enough to just overlap the edge there and pull it off. 
and just adjust it with your fingers before poking it with your felting needle. The barbs are just on the last little part of your needle, so you don't need to poke too deeply. You're just surface pokes, and remember to poke nice and gently. And you'll want to keep poking that until it's nice and smooth. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to show you the next band that's going to go on. I'm going to take some of my gold fiber. With this one, if you were going to do detail work, I would recommend actually breaking it up. So just taking some fibers and just intermingling it a little bit more so that it creates a little bit more um, of a mesh to work with and that'll give you a thicker design. So if you're doing any of the star details or anything like that with it, it's best to just make it a little bit more pre-felted already. But for stripes, you can use it as top, which is combed into a single direction. Just take a portion of that, place it onto your bobble, and then again, pull it out as thickly as you would like until it reaches the other side. And then with your felting needle, just poke it in place. So the next design I'm going to show you is this little woodland tree and I use just a little bit of white wool for this. I like to create the tree trunk first and then the branches from there. A little distance from the tree I'll put another one and again just pull it to the height that you would like it. and then poke all the way down. You're thinking a tree trunk shape all the time, so slightly wider towards the base and then narrowing as it goes up. For the branches, you're just going to take a very tiny tuft of your white. I like to smooth it between my fingers and then pull it into the shape that I'm looking for, which is sort of a triangle shape as it faces downwards. It can be slightly bigger the one side than the other, and you're just creating a branch.
And the PDF version will have all of these designs outlined so that you'll know where you can put each piece. And of course you can make them as custom as you would like. And this is a great activity to do with family and friends as they're all unique and they're a great memory. So just like in this tree, you're basically just making different branch shapes and placing them opposite each other along the trunk. And with this design you could do three trees or you could place them all the way around. You could add little dots for snow all the way around. And if I was doing that I would just place them various places so that it looks like snow falling over the trees. And you just gently poke those in. You want to just lightly poke the details so that they don't disappear into the felting. You just need to catch the top of the fibers and poke them in. And this design is another one that just requires um, placing the wool as you would like it. Um, I'm making joy. So if you just, this is the top part, so you'd felt that first. And then you're going to take your felting needle and some wool. Poke it in. And then just bend the wool with your fingers. So estimate how much wool you're going to need. And then just... Turn it with your fingers and then poke it in. And if you have any thin spots, you can just cover it over with more fiber. You can always add more wool. So just cover over any thin spots. And the O in Joy, I'm going to make as a snowflake, which is very similar to one of the other designs. And again, you're just taking small bits of fiber I like to smooth it between my fingers as it helps the felting process begin And then just place it on your design and felt it in
And in the same way, you make a Y, little bits of fiber. Smooth the fibers and place it on and poke it down with the needle. So to make the bobble, you're going to start with core wool and you'll take a section of, it's usually roving but it can come in batting as well, but fold it nice and tight. The tighter you roll it, the less time it's going to take to felt and it's going to be nice and dense inside your bobble. So nice and tight and just keep turning it and rolling the wool. And keep going until you have a good size for the inside. Placing this on your felting surface, you're going to take a felting needle and poke in and out all over your core ball. If you have two needles the same, you can use them together to speed up your felting time. You can also use a multi-needle tool. And keep turning and poking so that it becomes a nice round shape. Always remember to keep your fingers a distance away from the felting needle and poke gently. Once you poke this for a number of minutes, it will become a lot more firm and you can add a layer of your top color, which is burgundy. You're going to create a nice even coat all over, nice and snug. And then again, with your felting needle, poke it all over. And just keep poking it until it becomes nice and smooth. As you can see, this one has been felted and it's almost ready, but keep poking it until all the fibers are nice and flat and smooth. You can also give it a quick rub after you've felted it to help disappear any holes that you can see from the needle pokes. The smoother you can make it, the easier it is to put the design over top. If you find your ball isn't quite big enough, no worries, you can just add another coat. When you're adding that additional layer, remember to add a bit more around the center of your bobble because that's where the design will be and so it will compress a little bit more as you're felting. So in the end you'll want to make a little top for your bobble. Um, you just fold the wool into a flat shape. Just 
make a little button for the top and then place it in the center. You can felt this a little bit first if you like just with your felting needle and then just place it in the center. It's good to do a few big pushes with the needle to make sure that the wool goes deeply into your bobble. And once you have it attached, you can also coat around the edge with a little bit of wool just to neaten it off. And then you'll have your little cap. It's easier to gauge where you're going to place your design once you have the top on. So I'm going to start by, start by showing you the bell. Um, as I was explaining earlier, you just want to just intermingle those fibers a little bit more, entangle them together a bit. I like to fold the wool into the design shape that I'm aiming for. And then I place it on and just poke it with your felting needle. And then you can just curve your, your fiber. So just keep poking it until it's nice and smooth and then you're ready to add the little sash on top. And then you're just joining between the bells with a little strand of your white and you just keep curving that around to join them together. Just poke it in place as you would like to bend it as it arches between them just like on the design. So for the stars, you're just going to do little lines all the way down and you'll start by doing those first on your bobble. Just you can anchor it at the top and then extend the roving in a straight line and then just pull it off and you can just push it in with your finger so it's a nice thin band all the way along Then take a small amount of your gray fiber and poke it into the star shape.
I like to start at the top and then add the little triangles for each. And all of these designs will be on the PDF pattern for our kit. And you'll be able to see photos that show these stages. But they're all very similar and different aspects will be very um, repeated on the different designs. So you'll be able to see them over and over again. Each design will have its own little mini set of instructions so that if you're doing it as a, a party together, that way you can either pull it up on your phone or your tablet or you can print them off. So you just want to keep poking that until it's nice and smooth, just like on the design. So this particular design is one of the few that I would do before I put the top on it, just because it's easier to wrap the wool all the way around. So you're just creating a band all the way around. Nice thin band. And then of course you're just felting that in place with your felting needle. You're crossing it over this way and that way. just like that. So these designs also have gold bands around them or bands in general um, and you're just gonna you just want to anchor it and then adjust it so do a nice thin band of your wool in the color that you're using Then just give it a poke and then you can adjust it as you need to. So you can pull it up and down and create the desired effect. And that way it keeps a similar distance from the top. Just keep anchoring it with your needle. You can also just freehand and keep going up and down as you like, but don't pull it in, um, don't poke it in too firmly until you've gone all the way around, just in case you need to adjust something as you go. So to string them through, you just want to take a section of thread, just measure a length that'll go there and back again and snip it with a pair of scissors and you'll want to use an extra long needle if you can find one thread it through and then through the center of your bobble find the bottom the middle And then you can double check that it balances 
and adjust it as you need to. Hold on to one of the strings and then send it all the way back again. Perfect, and then just tie it in a knot. And it's ready to hang on the tree. You can also cover over the bottom if you can see the thread with your felting needle. Just poke in around the bottom end and that'll hide it. Thank you for joining us for this video. I hope you found it informative and I hope you really enjoy the kit if you purchased that one. Um, also, we are on Facebook, Instagram, uh, on YouTube. Please subscribe and follow along. We would love to connect with you and I hope you really enjoy felting.